How's it going guys, Chris here, and in this video we're going to be checking out the auto loading 8 from Battlefield 1. It's a medic weapon, and unlike most of the other guns in the game, some of its different variants actually alter which kind of cartridge you can use. The auto loading 8 was one of the first semi-automatic rifles on the market, with it first being produced in 1906. The gun's actual name is the Remington Model 8, which was originally just called the Remington Auto Loading Rifle, prior to 1911. It was designed by John Browning and manufactured by Remington Arms in the USA, but it was also made in Belgium too by FN Herstal, and marketed for international customers with yet another name, the FN Brown in 1900, though this version was dropped in 1929 due to crappy sales figures. The more popular US made Model 8 wasn't originally created with warfare in mind, as it was initially aimed towards the sports and hunting market. It used the same long recoil operation as the Auto 5 shotgun, or 12G automatic, and this allowed it to fire more powerful rounds a lot quicker than other competing semi-auto rifles around at the time, making it a very popular choice amongst hunters. Law enforcement variants which use high capacity detachable box magazines were also made too, alongside the standard civilian version which used the much smaller 5 round internal box magazine, and both of these variants can be seen in the game. The Model 8 was never properly adopted for military use in World War 1, though about 100 of the .35 models were shipped to France in 1915 to be used on aircraft. Though down to its tendency to overheat, the fact that it used a single stack magazine, and along with its heavy structure, these factors meant that it wasn't really ideal for infantry use. Though in Battlefield 1 it is, and the gun can be used on a medic loadout. There's three different variations, the .35 Factory, the .35 Marksman, and of course the .25 Extended, which lets us use that modified law enforcement version, even though detachable box magazines weren't developed for the Model 8 until after the war. So it looks like DICE is bending the rules of time a bit here, unless your character happens to be Doctor Who, which I highly doubt. The 2.5 Extended variant has a different damage model to the others, with it utilising a smaller cartridge but it still functions in a similar way to the other variants, and just like normal, I'll be covering all of these in more detail later on in the video. So the general weapon stats are up next, and those damage values are looking pretty healthy at closer ranges, with the gun boasting a maximum damage of 42 up to 34 meters. Not only is this on the higher end of the spectrum, but it's also good at retaining that maximum damage value a bit further than all of the other medic rifles too, meaning its range is pretty decent on the face of it. This damage will start to drop off beyond 34 meters down to its minimum damage of 30 beyond 52 meters, which unfortunately for the gun takes an otherwise solid damage output a bit below some of the others, and this just isn't quite enough to bump it up to a 3 bullet kill. Beyond round about 48 meters it's going to take an extra 4th bullet to put down another player, so although it's a strong weapon at close to medium ranges it's going to be considerably weaker further away. This, coupled by the fact that it can only hold 5 rounds per reload, really makes it a less effective weapon to use at long ranges, as to kill an enemy with full health, not including headshots, you're going to have to land 4 of your 5 bullets, which can sometimes be a tricky thing to do. The Model 8's low muzzle velocity of 660 meters per second really doesn't help here either, which just basically means that you'll have to lead targets a bit more than you normally would, with something like the self slider. And when you've got such little room for error, killing enemy players at range can often be a bit of a challenge. The small mag size creates problems at closer ranges too, as you'll frantically have to dodge to cover after every few pulls of the trigger. And because you can only essentially kill one enemy per reload, you're going to be a very vulnerable target up in the front lines where the gun happens to be the most effective, and it can often be a bit of a risky weapon to run with for this reason. Though one of the auto loading 8's saving graces is that rapid semi auto fire rate. 360 RPM is an impressive figure, for the medic rifles anyway, as it's actually the highest by quite a lot. This means that you can quickly spam the trigger and destroy close range targets in the blink of an eye, combining its speedy RPM with those heavy high damage rounds. So as for the variants, the .35 factory basically lets the gun recover from recoil twice as fast as the other versions. It's got no fancy add-ons or anything, but being able to regain accuracy quicker is always a good thing, and it'll allow your sights to reset back to their original position faster, which should make landing follow-up shots a bit easier. The .35 Marksman variant slaps a telescopic sight on there, and gives you a bit more zoom for acquiring targets at further distances. But along with this, you'll also have 50% less spread increase per shot in ADS, and a 33% lower base spread when stationary. 
These buffs are going to impact the gun, making it more accurate when firing multiple shots. And although the Model 8 doesn't really play out as a brilliant long distance weapon, these advantages do make it easier to use against players further away. And will definitely increase its effectiveness at medium ranges too. Now the .25 extended variant, which is my personal favourite of the three, actually counters one of the gun's biggest negative factors, and increases its magazine capacity up to a hefty 16 bullets. As a trade-off, those weaker rounds are going to deal less damage, with a maximum of 38 up to 12 metres and a minimum of just 21 beyond 32 metres. Believe it or not, this still counts as a 3 bullet kill, but only in those very close quarters. It'll increase to 4 bullets much earlier than the other variants, and take an extra 5th bullet anywhere beyond 28 metres, giving it both the weakest damage output and the worst range out of all of the medic rifles. But the fact that it can still shoot at 360 RPM and hold a load of bullets means that you can spam the trigger without worrying about emptying your magazine in the process, and with a lower vertical kick of 0.51 to help complement the extended variant, makes it a very effective and reliable gun to use in closer ranges, especially if you've got a fast trigger finger. So in conclusion, the autoloading 8 is definitely more of a risk reward kind of weapon, as it's got a very fast fire rate and packs a pretty big punch at close to medium ranges. But unless you're using the extended variant, because it can only hold 5 rounds at a time, you're going to have to play smart and be accurate if you plan on staying alive. Getting outnumbered will most likely get you killed, but in one-on-one -on -one gunfights you can quite confidently tear right through your opponents. It's not the strongest gun for ranged firefights, with damage dropping down to a 4 bullet kill at longer distances, and that low muzzle velocity is just going to make things harder for you too. But providing you can land your shots, stay within the gun's optimal killing range, and utilise cover whenever you need to reload, the autoloading 8 can deal with most enemies with some pretty devastating results. But that's all I've got for you this time guys, hope you liked the video, if you did, you know what to do, and if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button right now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.